Hi folks, Dr. Ed Byer again. Today we're going, to, we're going to talk about another video on mitochondria. Last week we talked about how the mitochondria is the part of our cell that's the powerhouse where energy is made. We know that with fibromyalgia, it's a neurological problem. Neurons are unhealthy in the brain and they're not able to inhibit pain and all kinds of other stuff is going on. Brain fog and, and uh, depression and all of that, all these sim cognitive changes we see with fibromyalgia. And like I said last week, I have not seen one fibromyalgia patient in 27 years that did not have a problem in the mitochondria. Look, folks, I'm telling you right now, when you have a chronic illness like, my, like, a, like fibromyalgia, it's not one or two things that are going on in your body. It's multiple things. This is just one of them, one of the ones I see quite commonly. Now, we talked about how the mitochondria produces energy. Now, I'm going to talk to you about the factory workers, the assembly line workers in the mitochondria that your body needs in order to convert your carbohydrates and fats into energy. So we eat, things get broken down into fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. We primarily use fats and, and carbs or glucose for our energy, and insulin pushes it into the cell, hopefully, and into the mitochondria. Now, in the mitochondria, there's like an assembly line of workers that convert our carbs and our fats into energy. Vitamin B1, 2, 3, and 5 are absolutely essential. Many of our patients with mitochondria dysfunction are not absorbing these B vitamins because they got digestive issues or they may have that MTHFR genetic defect that we talked about. Lipoic acid, which is an amino acid, which is very important. CoQ10 is used in over four spots on the assembly line. This is an enzyme that is depleted when we take statin or cholesterol lowering drugs. So we see a lot of the CoQ10 deficiencies. Magnesium, manganese, and L-carnitine is especially important for shuttling fats into the mitochondria. In fact, a lot of bodybuilders and people who want to get real slim take L-carnitine to burn fat. If you're deficient in any one of these, your mitochondria is not going to work and your neurons and all the cells in your body are going to lack energy because that's where energy is made. You need to understand this. We check for all of this on a test called an organic acids test and we can determine which specific nutrients you need to be able to get your mitochondria to function better. I'm Dr. Ed Byer. I hope that helps. Have a great day.